on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to a another video we are at the ranch ladies and gentlemen beautiful hot muggy moist day i'm already telling you, it's going to be a damp one i'm going to be damp by the end of it well we had a storm roll through the last couple days some tornado like conditions i mean as of now i don't see a lot there was 95 mile an hour wind ripping through this sun gun and all i know about the ranch is there's hella trees they're not all the healthiest i mean like i'm surprised that that tree's that tree there is a tree right over there. That's, that was down. Like that sucker, she's seen some better days. I'm surprised she's still standing. We had a tornado basically. It wasn't tornado, it was like straight line winds, but it was the same idea. Really freaking windy. Come barreling through here and we're gonna have to go check out the damage. We lost power. Even my house lost power for like a day. There's people that still don't have power. It's been this whole ordeal. And so we're like, all right, well, let's pack up the crew. We got a couple toys. We brought the ATV and one of the new mules. We brought her down on a brand new trailer, by the way. Got a new tilt trailer, new tilt trailer who dis we got a trailer so we can actually bring two of them now you can see we got the sprayer attached it's because we're gonna be doing some spraying hopefully potentially we're not we're not 100 sure what today's in store we were like let's just honestly bring the fleet down let's figure out how much damage there is maybe there's a lot maybe there's none we're not really sure we're still prepping for deer season got to get ready with the food plot so we've got the tractor we brought an air compressor to air up them tires so we can take it out we need to go check on the first food plot if you missed that we came out here we mowed with the skill loader we sprayed with that that was not the time banjo flip different time it's all grown up since then so we brought more more chemicals we're gonna hit it again we're gonna mow it again to get it to where we can plant it planting's right around the corner usually you plant like sometime in august for those late fall food plots like them brassicas and whatnot see i sound like i know what i'm talking about but i don't big brassica guy anyway so that's kind of the plan we gotta do some ranch land management including clearing some trees if there's any that fall down i'm assuming there is we're gonna dump this off take the mule out drive around the property see what damage there is i was like low-key hoping a tree would fall in the cabin low-key would love the insurance claim would love to start fresh i think in the night Unfortunately for us, I don't see any big damage. And like that thing could definitely go burn. None of those fell down. So we're going to go drive around, see if we see any damage. We're going to have to clean it up either if it's big and chunky, whatever. We brought chainsaws. We got the tractor. Otherwise, if it's not too big, we've obviously got those. So we got to clean some stuff up. We got to do the normal chores. We got to put food in the feeders. We got to check the trail cameras. We'll go over some pictures with you guys. We finally, finally are starting to see some decent bucks. We'll share those with you. At the end, we're going to try to get that other food plot ready to go. But we're going to take the tractor. We're going to have to loop it around all the way on the road, enter from the other gate and hopefully it goes faster because I mowed it with a skid loader which is like a I want to say it's like a six seven foot wide mower but it's kind of annoying with the skid loader the tractor I'll be sitting in the AC jamming not to the radio because they didn't give me one of them but we'll be jamming we'll be cruising and then Zach might you might come behind me with the old spray daddy and give her a quick squirt squirt we got 24d and some glyphosate some grass and weed killer mow it all down and that way in the next week or two we can disc it till it or churn it and then get some stuff planted in the ground so we're trying to get prepared for that so anyways with that being said let's go ahead and get these suckers off the trailer but before before we do that, you guys may or may not know, if you're new here, you probably don't. If you're not new here, you probably do. We are launching Bucks. Bucks hunting. You can see we got some going on here and here. We are launching it. If you hadn't heard about it, it's going on on August 3rd. Dropping August 3rd third brand new merch is coming two bucks and we're doing a one thousand dollar giveaway and all you gots to do is go follow the instagram account it'll be linked down below go follow bucks and you're automatically entered to win one thousand dollar giveaway we're giving away ten one hundred dollar gift cards to the bucks website once it drops so all you gotta do is click the follow button you ain't gotta tag nobody like it comment tag your three buddies you ain't gotta do none of that share or nothing just follow the account you get entered to win one thousand dollars in gift Car. So, link down below if you guys want to check it out. Let's get the meal off the trailer. got him off the single remote control game changer i love this trailer so far we didn't flip it it's banjo wasn't driving it. so mules off let's go assess the damage well we 
as we're out of feed, so we're gonna try to get some more of that later, but we didn't make it like 200 yards before we saw our first down tree. It's not on the trail, but we're gonna go check it out. It looks like it's a big old cedar, I think. This has gotta be fresh, oh yeah. This one's not on the trail, so it's not a huge deal, but we're just trying to kind of see what happened here with the day. Too. It's kind of a tell. There's a lot of down trees. This one has green leaves on it, so I feel like this is, this one had to have just happened, but maybe not. It looks like it's somewhat old. I don't know. There's a down, I mean, it's not that exciting. I and mean, there's like, so there's down trees everywhere. I mean, all of those seem to be somewhat normal. Like I said, this one's the only one that I've seen that actually still has a little bit of green on it. You see something over there? What you got over there? Nothing? I don't know if that's an old one or not. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell. Since this one still has green, it's like it had to be somewhat recent. It just got ripped from the ground. Anyways, first stop, I guess it's not that exciting. So let's keep going. Oh, whoa, this is huge. I didn't see the trunk until now. Look how big this one is. Look at right in the middle of our trail. This one's gonna have to get excavated. Oh my gosh, it split it right down the middle. Dude. I don't know. Dude, the tractor might struggle with this sucker. He's massive. Look at the size of this thing. Shit! <laughs> Look at that! It's literally right in the middle of our trail. What do you think about the tractor? I mean... Sheesh. Sheesh! I don't even know. I mean, that's a, I don't know, 15 to 18 inch diameter, not circumference, diameter trunk. I gotta walk around to this side. Dude, it got completely murked. Couple down tree branches over there. That stuff looks old. That stuff looks pretty old. This is an obvious one. I mean, this is, dude, this is a massive tree. Look at the size of this thing. Oh my gosh. Sheesh! Buddy! Freaking, oh God, those are, ow, right in the gooch. What in God's, why? That poked me right in the, look how big that thing is though. Dude, I don't know, dude. I think this thing weighs more than we might think. The chainsaw is gonna struggle to cut through that sucker. Yeah. We call them locusts. Black locusts. Either way, it's the one with the freaking thorns. So I'm not mad at all that it came down. There's too many bushes here to get to like the inside of the trunk without just getting KO'd by these stinging nettles. But look at that, dude. <laughs> Right on the Right, I know, right? Like literally, we can, I mean, at least we could probably get around there, but it's right on the trail. I think this thing's heavier than we think. We might put the tractor to the test. It's a problem, we don't have a grapple. I'm trying to think like. So you pick it up with the forks. I've done that for with big stuff like this. We'll have to get some chains. I bet we could at least pivot it. I don't think you're excavating it, this thing though. Whenever we build the pond, that sucker would be some good structure. Look like how long it is. Imagine big old five pound shield laying up under that sound gun. That's what I'm saying. I'm gonna try to keep it as maybe as whole as possible because if Chad comes out to build it, he could have picked the sucker up with the excavator. Just drive it down into the creek and right into the creek for the bass, which we are gonna be starting that project here soon. We're hoping, hoping before deer season rut. I mean, not archery. I, we're not gonna beat the archery season, but if I was to take a guess, because as you guys know, he's actually working on the house pad, which is a little more important. Not to me, but just to the whole situation. He said that he's hoping to come out in like September-ish. And so if we can get it done by mid-October, we'll be okay. We might spook some deer and we may just have to plant some food plots that are really far away from the pond for this year. But I think it's going to be worth it because then if we if he can build it up this year, it'll fill up all winter long and then we can just go crazy and stock it next spring. I mean, dude, just imagine like a five, 10 acre lake with a bunch of these in there. I mean, there's trees everywhere that we could take down. But anyways, that's one. That's one massive, massive project here. We'll try the tractor honestly we might leave the mower for back gonna weight say, we're gonna you got enough room over we're here. gonna need to because otherwise you won't have enough weight in the butt because we were talking about like we don't have to use the tractor because then we take the bush hog off and the bush hog's kind of a pain in the butt to take off honestly we're gonna need the weight of it in the back because the, how much weight we're gonna have in the front it's just gonna be way too nose heavy we try to break the tractor and we don't have legitimate forks we've got like the bolt-on ones which i unloaded everything that we needed for i think my shop at the house and those were huge pallets of wood and stuff like that and so i mean i know it'll work but Dude, talk about mega tree right in the middle. Big rip. I would say first confirmed casualty from the tornado is this guy right here. But we just got started. Like the cabin's literally right up the hill. So let's keep going and see what we find. It honestly wasn't as bad as I expected on that trail, but I see at least one tree that's fallen down. So let's go check it out. Well, well, what was that a frog? What was that? You see that thing? There's something right here. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Why is there a frog right here? That creek? Yeah, so I guess there's a creek. We're in the middle of the forest right now. There's a frog right here. Where'd you go, Jack? 
Oh, there he goes. Oh, there he goes. He's running. All right, well, we're gonna pop the trail camera into the, to the uh, computer here in a second. That feeder's empty, though. This is the spot. I'm telling you this. I've said it. I've, mark my words, folks. Well, you've already marked them. The first ever ranch video we did here where we toured it. I told you guys. You guys are not new here. You remember. I said, my buck senses are tingling. Look at the sign. They don't even let the grass grow out here because they're here so often. That feeder's completely empty. Look at the mineral site. I mean, look at it, folks. Camera should have some good stuff on there hopefully so oh yeah look at all them dingleberries sheesh they love it out here the tree that fell like i said it's not as bad over here but i think the wind came from the northeast and we're like on the low end of it so we're, we'll have to go up on the top side and see if anything came through that right there is a newbie honestly i've heard the word hinge cutting i know what it does but it looks like that thing did it for me i guess i don't know if that's in the right direction for the hinge cut but i think it's like to kind of block the deer if this is my trail you would hinge cut like this so i mean hey mother nature already gave me one of them hinge cuts right there son so one one tree down that thing already looked like it it needed to die anyways there's a lot of these trees that are oh that's got to be new oh. that's new that has to be oh geez big sheila fell on the fence folks i figured that's what would happen around here dude did you notice this either no. someone came out here and tried to make a tp when we were <laughs> there's someone trying to be pitching a tp out here when we were gone dude that's kind of sketch dude there's <laughs> no way that was nature bro right look you can see where i've mowed like we mowed all this i would have noted who's out dude. here someone's camping someone's pitching a tent not in the good way there. there's no way that is 100 percent man-made and it was not here when i mowed i would have noticed something like that someone's pitching a tent out here that's actually scary oh should we put it we probably should put a trail camera out here i mean there's one over there that tree is new for sure who's camping though you can see there's fresh bark on that tree that tree looks like it's something fell off of it and somehow like it's a mess back here i mean there's lots and lots of trees that are down but this guy's definitely brand new i did not see him last time we were out here Sheesh, look at that guy. Yeah, she gone. She fell off that and boom, right on to the fence. Hey, so we don't have the high fence anymore. We don't gotta worry about it. But I mean, that's making that just thing give it a dangle. It's, we're not gonna fix that today. There's not really a, any really good reason to be honest, but she bit the dust right there. I see another tree kind of up that way that looks like it had some bark ripped off of it. I'm sure there's a lot. The real question, who is pitching teepees out at the ranch? Cause there's no way. I mean, that's a beefcake of a log. There's, I don't even know if one person could do that. There might be a whole colony of them out here. There's a village. We gotta find out where they're living. There was what, eight of us that day were taking the fence out? There's no way somebody wasn't like, what's the strat with the teepee there? And there's no way that was just nature. She would have had to been on X game for it, Literally. Even this one is loose. It's completely upside down. So like this thing, there's a branch growing. For, so it fell off of that and it speared down and then leaned against that tree and then somehow big Sheila log. Dude, this that is, is wild. there's no way someone's living out here. I don't understand this. Dude, there's no way. Dude, that, look, you can see what moves. That's not the actual tree. Like, all that's just put there. We've been out here so many times. There's no way this has been oh, here. that was not there. There's no... <laughs> Who's living at the ranch? This doesn't make any sense. I feel like we got to put a trail camera out here now. I mean, look at the deer prints, deer. though. Deer like in this little area. I'm telling you, boys, this is... Well, the... it might be deer. You think, that, yeah, <laughs> I guess, yeah. Is there any human footprints anywhere? <laughs> trail in and out. Take a mental screenshot. Let's act like we didn't notice so that way they don't know we're on to them If we come back tomorrow next week and it looks different We got to set some cams out because we got some mountain people living out at the ranch It looks like they just started that thing too Like they didn't get very far or we haven't been here for a couple weeks What if it was a full-fledged teepee and the storm blew it down and they moved out now and that's all that was left Because I'm like why, why would someone stop at that right like that don't do good for nobody Look there's logs right here I wonder if it was a full-fledged teepee and then the storm blew it down so they like hibernated and went somewhere else I, I, I have no idea we got some crazy things going on here at the ranch there was no way that was there and no one knows it's just not possible it's just not physically possible for that thing to be there and no one would have noticed i'm like looking around any other tiki huts anywhere like i i, I feel like i gotta be on high alert now for like a little gremlin running through the bushes freaking bigfoot out here anyways there's not too many other trees down on this end but let's check the trail cam all righty folks zach is bringing up the pics let's see what's been munching we know there's something munching because the food's gone cell phone service down here ain't the greatest so let's see what we got all right photo number one little sheila she's coming out around 8 p.m she's just munching oh yeah she's getting it oh look at them ribs hey so you better keep eating that food all right we got more oh what, wait, that what is that is that a deer it's gotta be right i don't think so it kind of like i don't well, think she's like be a, chilling by it right? looks like a, it looks like a bobcat keep going to oh it's got to be, right? I guess it, yeah. It kind of looks like a bobcat of some sort or something like that, but. All right, yeah, I mean, you're right. If she's just chilling there, I bet it's probably her baby. Okay, we got, oh, baby. Oh, whoa! Oh, <laughs> WWE Smackdown, what's going on? What's the strat there? What are you so, oh, oh, oh my God. They look like goats fighting. Tell me that don't look like, oh, oh rip. rip. 
Right to the stump. Oh, and see you later. Yes, she won. She won. She says, give me that food. That's when you know the nutrition you're giving to them is good when they start fighting over it. That next level nutrition that we've been putting in them feeders makes these deer act up. They get spicy when they know that the feeder's running low. They start to get, oh, what's up, what's up with her ear? You see that? She's got a little cut or something. She, yeah, it's a little, it's like nicked right there. You guys can quite see that. All right, keep going. So we got WWE. That's good. So far, just dozo. So. We, we, we're looking for big buck boy. Oh, little buck boy. He ain't too bad. I mean, what do you think? That's like a two-year-old? Three year old? I don't know deer that great to be honest uh, with you. Probably two. I would say two, right? Got I'm a guessing big body. I'm guessing two. I don't Looks know. Looks like he's gonna have a split. Yeah, right time. there. Okay. So we got just a, a youngster. The next generation. Oh! Oh! What are you doing, Ricky? Look at he's looking at the camera like, hey, hey, quit taking photos. No wonder our food's gone, you stupid thing. Keep eating it. Alright, keep going. All right, is that a was that a little? That's a oh, little yeah. little buck, isn't it? That's like a probably one year old. Yeah. What, or they call it one and a half technically, right? Everything's like I half think so. once it comes season. Yeah. So that's probably like a one, one and a half, two. I don't really know what I'm talking about. You guys, oh, whoa, whoa, big boy! Oh my God, look at that! Look at that big boy right there! Keep going. Let's see if we can get better. Oh yeah! Oh, oh now oh, we're yeah. talking. Okay. Oh, with the little guy. It's the bachelor party. Look at them hanging out. Dude, that's going to be a good one. Oh, yeah. He's going to be a good one. Yes, sir. Okay. Dude, he's good. That's a good looking. What do you say? It's like probably, what, a four? I think four-year-old maybe? Three, Five, probably. Three, three? Three, okay. Three, three to four. So he could go maybe another year or two, and he could be just an absolute Oh, mega. yeah. That's big boy, though. Sheesh. All right. We got, finally got a big buck on cam. And then we got the next generation, which we care about them, too. Dude, yeah, that's a good buck. Good buck right there. Okay, so we got some munching. Oh, we saw some. Of the, oh, Ooh, hey, hi. A good picture of him. Hey, how you doing? There you go. Okay, so he likes it. He's been hanging out. Decent buck, not giant. I would say like the right thing to do would probably pass this year on him. Yeah. I'm a brown and sound guy, but listen, there's lots of does that could use some heart. Dude, he's a good looking deer though. We'll see. I mean, they still got growing to do. They're still eating that good nutrition. They still got a little bit of growing to do. But yeah, you're right. He could be like a good three or like a decent four-year-old. I'm trying to get better at judging age of deer. I mean, that's how you get better at deer management. I know like, you know, their chest gets bigger and I've researched a lot of stuff. It's so early though. Like until they really fully develop their antlers, it's kind of tough to tell. Either way, I'd be happy shooting him this year, but knowing how big he could be if he doesn't get shot by someone else over the next two years and we just keep him on the nutrition, let me know. Shoot or pass. If you're a big pass guy or big brown it's down guy, big catch clean cook guy, you guys let me know. We don't have any feed to fill up the feeder, but check the cams. We got big buck. Let's go check the next one. You guys stay tuned. Why'd she let us get so close? Dude, she didn't care. All right, well, that was the next feeder we were checking. There you go, big doe. If you act like you don't see them, they don't think you saw them, so then they don't freak out. Like, she, obviously she ran, we got really close. We had a scare anyway. The food plot, we're gonna come cut, and oh my gosh, dude, it, it looks worse than before we cut it. What the hell happened here? Banjo sprayed is off spray duty, I think. This is like worse than it was before. There's all sorts of invasive stuff going on here. Look at all the like the little flower and blooming things. I don't even know what them are. That was the next feeder. We're not even gonna check that one just because I don't want to bump her too hard. We're gonna go make sure the rest of our trails are clear. Again, this is where we're putting the food plot. We already sprayed it, we already killed it once, and it grew back bigger and more luscious than ever. And honestly, maybe it's good. Maybe there's some like natural green forage clover, something that the deer might like, but we're gonna get rid of all this stuff, mow it down today with the tractor, spray it with the ATV, get it ready for some planting, but let's go check the rest of the trails. I think we would have noticed that. Well, I think we found another tree. Sheesh. Yikes, we might need to get this one down. Look at that. She giving it the old lean on that cable there, son. Looks like it was already dead. There's one that's leaned that This was not here. I think we would have noticed because we took this fence down. One of the branches, when it landed, it fell off right over there. That cable's there to protect this fence, but you can see how heavy that tree is because that cable's giving it a heck of a lean. So we are on the far north side of the property over here. There's not too many trails. We're just wandering around trying to break in the new UTV. You guys know the drill and just checking out some of the damage. I mean, on a good news, that corn, it's not mine. It's not destroyed. There's some neighbors and stuff that the corn's like, completely flattened out so it don't look too bad we just got a couple trees the only one that so far is an issue is one that's on the trail which we'll take care of so we're gonna go ahead and wrap up driving around here and then get in the tractor stay tuned Shoo! 
whoa, we didn't find any more fallen trees, but we found an absolute gold mine, folks. Look at all of this. Dude, it's taller than me. Look at all, can you guys see what's going on here? There's a whole field of this stuff all the way around. The doves love this stuff. Start to see them little seeds on there just like that. See them doves. They like that. What are you laughing at? I start calling you and Banjo Cheech and Chong. You tell me goon ganja ain't a good idea? <laughs> what are you talking about? Listen, folks, I didn't plant any of this, all right? So don't come arrest me, but it just so happened to naturally grow here. And for those of you guys that don't know, doves, and I think quail are notorious for this too. They love eating the little seeds. But last year we went dove hunting with Lucy. It was like the first time. And we found a patch just like this. And they would like sleep in a tree. And they like, that's actually a really good tree. They can see, but you can see them. They come in and eat all this. But this is a total giant patch of all the good stuff for them doves. Anyways, I had to stop and show you guys that. We found some of it. So found some of the good stuff here. This is like, I'm not joking. I think I'm kidding. We will make a dove hunting video here. And we will shoot some doves. They love eating the little seeds out here. Anyways, I, you guys thought it was funny when I pointed it out at the new house build video. And so I just want to show you guys. We got fields of it out here at the ranch, folks. Good stuff. Let's go get in the tractor. Surprise, surprise, we got more feed, ladies and gentlemen. Our buddy Chris hooked it up fat, got the delivery. I texted him I'm like, hey man, we're checking feeders, we're out of feed. And he's like, I got you. It secured the bag, picked it up. First time unloading something big like this for the tractor. And I stand by my statement of I hate tractors. That took me about 15 minutes when the skid loader took me about 15 seconds. It makes it a little tough to uh, see what you're doing. And that thing's just jumpy and jittery and it, it's okay. It did the job. And these are also just the bolt on ones, which aren't as easy to use. I'll take it. I mean, we got brand new feed. So we're going to load some feed up, but I made some phone calls and actually I talked to Chris. He's been helping us manage some of this land. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just about to go mow and spray. And he's like, why would you do that? I don't know. Cause aren't you supposed to mow and spray? And he's like, I mean, you're supposed to mow and spray. That doesn't mean you mow and spray at the same time. I'm like, well, that's what we did the first time and it worked. And he's like, well, how's it look now? I'm like, looks greener than before. And he's like, exactly. So I talked to him and I called my other buddy, Dylan, who does deer management. I was like, yo, 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 should I take my big tractor out there and mow down them thorns, bushes and trees and all that rubbish and whatnot. And then spray it. And he's like, I mean, you don't really have to mow it unless you want to, which I, I mean, I enjoy kind of mowing. And well, we finally got big boy air compressor to air up these tires. Cause even though we're not, well, we are using, I guess we'll have to use it to take out some of those trees that are blown down. Basically both of them were like, you're only supposed to spray during a growth cycle, which means you would mow it and then wait a few days and then spray it. And he's like, honestly, the only reason why you need to mow is if your weeds are like super, super tall. And I mean, they're not really that tall. Moral of the story, both Chris and Dylan were like, just spray it. Give her a quick dousing. And since Banjo's not here, I'm like, cool, we can do that. We're not going to flip and break another four wheeler. But we do have a four wheeler over there. So we're going to load it up. We're going to do 240, two pints of that. And then we've got 41% glyphosate and we've got four quarts of that for a 25 gallon sprayer. And that should do two ish acres, which is what our plot is. But honestly, I'll probably double it up, which I know is overkill. I know, I know, I know. I might do like 150%, 35, 40 gallons or something instead of 50. I want to make sure it dies. Okay. All right. It grew back and now I'm pissed. So we got to kill the freaking grass and kill the weeds. And so anyways, we're not going to be mowing. We're just going to spray the foiler. But then once we come back, we're going to get this thing greased up. We hadn't greased it yet, which I know we need to do. Get it. I brought it. We're going to maintenance the track you know we're not really using it and then we're gonna try to crawl it down to that big shield of tree try to yank it out of the path so stay tuned Got her loaded up, 25 gallons of water. Well, not entirely true. About a gallon of glyphosate, four quarts, and then two pints, which is a quart. So I don't know why people don't just say one gallon of glyphosate and one quart of 2,4-D. And then if people want to divide that, they can. But that's for two acres, which is 25 gallons. I'm guessing I'll get maybe an acre to an acre and a half worth out of this thing. I'm not as efficient as some of those pros out there that give me those numbers. And so I might do two passes just to really make sure I could chow this grass and weeds and whatnot. But we're loaded up. I'm gonna go put some weight on the front so I don't flip this sucker. Let's get to spraying. I 
think I hate food plots. I think I just need to quit. This is an incredible, incre and expensive, mind you, expensive, incredible amount of work. I mean, I've probably put at least $100, if not $200 of chemical on just this two, and I, I know, I don't do things right, and so that's why I gotta do it again. It cost me double the money. But between an ATV and an ATV sprayer, which the sprayer's a little done goofed, okay? Uh, partly because Banjo likes to big pop wheelie guy. We lost this back nozzle, and so I had to make that one point that way and that one point that way to like, I don't know what you call it, but basically it was only spraying the width of the ATV. I could not get it to spray any wider. I literally did double the amount of chemical and water and passes. This is a two acre plot and I did enough for four acres. So I passed everything two times because I could only go the width of this. I also hate the sprayer with absolute passion because some idiot who designed it put the intake up here, but the liquid stays down there. So right now it looks fine, right? Cause, but I'm on a hill like this. If I was flipped on the other hill, it just spits. Is that thunder? Oh, oh, the clouds. Oh, yeah. That you ain't. Your glasses on, haven't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it looks like it's about to storm. Oh, them clouds are getting it, too. Sheesh. Speaking of tornado, we might be experiencing this tornado here. Might be having to take cover down the creek. I think if you spray Roundup and then it rains, it doesn't work. Pretty positive. I that just, what's up? I just spent about $100 chemical, a couple hours of my time. And if it rains, there's a good chance most of this won't die. The chemical has to dry on the plant to kill it, not just get on the soil. So, like, if it pours right now, I'm pretty sure what we just did didn't. Which would be our luck with the food plot? Game? At this point, it's 10 times bushier. Some of those bushes over there, you didn't see it. Them bushes are yay high. I'm like, where in the hell did you come from, Rick? So I have a feeling we should have mowed it. I do. I, I'm not trying to go against the X. I should, we should have mowed it. I underestimated the weeds when I was explaining it to the people giving me advice. Those weeds are freaking thick. I'm going to be shocked if this chemical can take it out and get it to like combust down to like nothing. I'm going to be shocked. So here's the deal. I'm done. That sprayer needs to just burn in hell. Honestly, it's fine. I just need to get a different boom for it since it got rolled it got bent if i got a new boom attached we'd probably be in business but i am looking at getting so that's a 25 gallon and i'm looking at getting a 60 gallon for the mule and then i'm looking at getting a 200 you heard it right 200 gallon for the tractor and the tractor one will be have a 21 foot boom so 21 feet's like sheesh i don't know me to that bush and we could just I'm guessing three, maybe four passes. And it's like a direct boom, so it don't spray out. It just sprays directly down. That's what we need. I mean, because then you could spray this sucker in about 15 minutes versus... uh about two hours. It takes me probably 10, 15 minutes to run back, get water, fill up on chemical, and drive all the way back here. The first pass, I went really fast. I was going like seven, eight miles an hour. This one, I tried to go a little slower. Double dose it right before the storm, which is classic. I checked the radar. It didn't say it was supposed to rain. You know what? We just got to quit with the food plot thing. We just got to relax. Just take... And let's go get ourselves even more frustrated by trying to maneuver a overly large tractor with a mower in the woods to pull out a tree that's blocking our path. I'm just imagining it's not going to quite go as planned. So anyways, food plots sprayed-ish. I don't know if it's going to do anything. So let's get in the tractor and see if we move that tree. We made it. We got the tractor out right here. In case you're wondering, I tried greasing this sucker up and tried a new uh, automatic, not automatic, what do you call it? Power electric, what do you call it, huh? Electric. Electric greaser. You guys know me, big DeWalt guy. I like mine. So I was like, yeah, we tried Milwaukee. Bad idea. I, it exploded on me twice. Anyway, so this thing's not greased. I just had to tell you what was going on. That's why I look like a bag of wieners because I had two tubes of grease explode on me. So you think just put the forks on and give her a just scoop. that's how I've done it before. Yeah. Stuff like okay, so we're probably gonna have to chainsaw it off the stump though, right? I bet it's still somewhat connected, I'm yeah. guessing. because we probably I want to pull it. I'm guessing we pull our way because the path is right where that mule is. I could pick it up, flip up the forks, and then drag it. I mean, essentially, I could just put it up against that pile. If we can pick it up, I don't know how well this thing's going to balance. It's got two big trunks right there. It's not even just this one. We got two big old things. So split them and the two, just two separate two, two ones. sections. So be able to fork them. Yeah, I think you're right. So let's take the chainsaw and cut and then cut, remove. Honestly, just leave the stump, right? Yeah, for now. We can always pick the excavator, like the biggest feeder, and pick up the stump, and it could be used as fish structure. But for now, we just got to get the freaking tree off of the trail. Let's get the Chainsaw out and get to cut. <laughs>
Something's going on. I'd say this thing might need quick sharpening, huh? I think the strat is... Sir? <laughs> Sir? Sir? It's smoking. Do you think it's just dull? Why does this thing suck cheeks? I don't think it's that bad. You thought that was normal? When I did stuff like that, I yeah. had a much bigger one. I always see them homies on that game show, or whatever, just ripping through them. I feel like those are a lot more powerful the ones. Beefier? Yeah. I bet if I took the forks and picked up, it would snap. You think I need to keep cutting or should I just try ripping it? Try ripping it. Yeah, let's give it a rip. Think I bought this tractor at freaking Weenie Hut Juniors. If anyone wants a tractor, I feel like I should just leave it on the side of the road. You guys can have it. It's what? What is it good for? Besides cutting grass, it is the world's most expensive lawnmower. That's it. That's it. There's nothing else it's good for. Even unloading that feed took ten times as long. My skill loader would come and make this tree. It's well, let's keep it clean. But you guys get what I'm saying. So, uh, all right, I'm gonna have to keep cutting. Let's get the saw going. Really? So why do you think this thing sucks? Why does everything I own suck? <laughs> I knew that would happen. I, I knew it happened. Heads up. It started falling over. Oh, you scared me. I knew that happened in case you're curious. Yeah, I... This... Yeah, she's pinched pretty good, huh? What you're not supposed to do is get your chainsaw. If you got a pinch point, you're supposed to be above the pinch, not... Anyways, I think the easy way to get that out is I gotta get the forks on this side, pick up, and then you gotta pull out without dying. Because if I pick up on that side, that don't do us any good, I don't think. Yeah, I'll just pinch it more. All right, so I'll pick up on this side. Just let it get completely settled and situated. Once nothing's moving, then you can go pick it up. Don't die. All right. Yeah, you know, it's not supposed to quite look like that. A little broken, a little bent. This fork's seen better days. This is why you should get actual forks instead of these little screw-on ones from Amazon. They're not Beefcake or Ocean approved. This thing's basically structured now. Our saw still sucks. The tractor still sucks. Life's good. Weenie Hut Jr. Did it just cut off on you? Yeah. <laughs>
This thing functions better as a bulldozer than a tractor. Did you see what it did to that tree? It wouldn't even lift one of the limbs off that tree, but when you put that sucker, and I was in the lowest gear, which is actually probably more powerful, I guess, now that I think about it, in the higher gear. But like, when I started pushing, I was like, I'll just see what it's got. And that sucker, twist, turn, I mean, look at this thing. Sheesh! I was doing it wrong the whole, you started it. You told me to push on that first one, and after that, I was like, tractor's a beefcake when you push. When you lift, you pull, you do anything else. Weenie Hut Jr., well, you want to be a bulldozer. It may be a green tractor. It's 2021, he identifies as a bulldozer from now on. So that's what, we're going to call that my big green bulldozer. Because that's exactly what he did. We cleared the path. I'm not going to move it too far. I mean, this, again, fish structure. Talk about some habitat for some fish. So we're just going to actually leave it right here. I mean, there's so many branches. We really need to come in here with a big excavator with a thumb. We can pick them up, put them where we want, and drop them down. The tractor ain't. But I was getting better at it. I feel like I was getting decent, able to move around. I mean, I did all that with a big 10-foot mower on the back of it, too, which I feel like is kind of a, an accomplishment. I'm getting better at it. Don't use it attachable slash detachable. What do you call them? Forks? Oops. Don't, yeah, don't do that. I broke it. Okay, you about died. That thing went flying. I need to get an actual pallet fork set. I think that would help a lot with some things. But as you can tell, it's raining. It's freaking raining. We got a big storm coming. So, you know what that means, though? It means our roundup didn't work. So, that's neat. I'm excited. Awesome. I love Sprite. Maybe we can make Banjo do it next time. He skipped out today. He missed a fun day at the ranch. Hey, Banjo. Now, yeah, tomorrow, yeah, let's go spray. And then you and me just go get like ice cream somewhere or something. Yeah. Banjo can just go spray, you know, whatever. So, anyways, there you have it. I mean, you can tell she's a fresh she though definitely came straight from the ground she was uh was that weird straight from the ground straight from the ground she right she was in it she was in that ground she came out of it thank god we got rain you know it's it's great i'm just it's been a good day. The thing is, we didn't break the tractor. Well, I, we gotta get it back still. But we didn't break the tractor. We broke the forks, not the tractor. Big difference. Anyways, I think we're gonna call it a day. We got a lot of work done. It's like 7 p.m. and we've been out here all freaking day long. With that being said, hopefully you guys at home enjoyed today's video. Remember, follow box down below. Link will be down below. You can enter to win the giveaway. No purchase necessary. All you gotta do is follow the account. We are launching box on August 3rd. So mark your calendar. It's gonna be epic stuff. It's gonna get sold out. So if you want anything, you're a big deer hunter like me. Me, you're gonna want to cop yourself some bucks. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll catch you in the end. Peace.